Bungie put out a breakdown of some build crafting changes coming with Lightfall, and I'd like to highlight a few key points today, specifically when it comes to anti-champion mods. The article states that we want to make how you counter champions more logical. That should also make it easier to learn how to deal with them in the first place. So while you still will have a selection of anti-champion artifact perks available to you based on your current weapon selection, we are also adding some anti-champion options to your subclasses to complement your weapons. The first breakdown for barrier champions states that when using volatile rounds from your weapon, it will also pierce the barrier and stun the champion. When a player is radiant, their attacks pierce champion shields and stun them. Strand will also have a method of piercing barriers. When it comes to overload, damaging an overload champion by triggering the jolted condition stuns the champion. Likewise, suppressing the champion stuns them, as does slowing them with stasis. And finally, unstoppable. Blinding an unstoppable champion instantly stuns them, encasing them in stasis and then shattering it or triggering a solar ignition on them likewise stuns them. Strand will also include an unstoppable champion counter. Now this god is talking about what the best options would be once Lightfall comes out for anti-champion weapons. And one specific perk that will be able to do all three of them is Chill Clip. Now Chill Clip is exclusively a stasis weapon perk. This states direct hits with the top half of the magazine cause a detonation that slows nearby targets. It also eventually does a full freeze. Now referencing back to what we just read, slow will be effective towards overload champions, freeze will be effective towards unstoppable champions, and any weapon while you are radiant will work towards anti-barrier. Now there are currently 11 weapons in the game that can get this perk. A majority of them are fusion rifles, but there's a couple of grenade launchers in there as well as rockets and a linear. Now you can use any of these to do all three of the different anti-champion mods, but there's one in particular that I really like. This rapid fire fusion rifle not only outputs a ton of damage, but is incredibly easy to farm now. Although it is a crucible weapon, so your own personal level of self-hatred is what will determine your ability to farm this. Now Bungie recently reduced the cost of focusing weapons so you can see right here with an available crucible engram all it's going to cost you is 25 legendary shards and 5000 glimmer. And if you've done a few rank ups with shacks you can see that they drop with the chance of a few perk options. I personally farmed for this specific role and I plan to use it heavily once lightfall drops. In my opinion, the barrel doesn't really matter that much, but typically you want to use whichever one gives you a little bit more stability as that tightens the bolt spread. Now, in my opinion, the most important perk within the roll is the magazine. Enhanced battery puts the mag at 8, which means you get 4 shots of chill clip before it becomes a regular fusion. This one's pretty self-explanatory. I wanted auto-loading holster, but compulsive reloader is also pretty good because you can reload it really, really quickly and get those chill clip shots back. I just like the ability to fire off the chill clip rounds, swap to my primary or heavy, and have it auto-reload in the background. Now, if I were to get a perfect roll, I would still probably want a reload masterwork just in case I have to reload. You can see the stats relatively low because of enhanced battery. And again, because I have enhanced battery pushing the mag to 8, I can run boss spec or major spec instead of running a backup mag and get that little bit of extra damage. Now we'll go ahead and give you a quick example of how this perk works. From an ad clear perspective, it's really, really nice. See, the burst slows anyone in the area. They have to be a little bit close for it to work. And sometimes you get those multi-kills. I'll go ahead and show you how it looks against a little bit beefier of a target. See, that freeze is what's going to give you unstoppable. And he stays frozen for quite a while. Keeps teleporting. He hates me. See that there? And then in order to get radiant, you do that little bit of powered melee damage. It gives you bonus damage and anti-barrier. For those unfamiliar, in order to get Radiant, all you need to do is have this fragment equipped on Solar and do powered melee damage. 
There is quite a bit of downtime between now and when Lightfall comes out. We've got about a month left, and I highly suggest you farm some of these chill clip weapons to prepare yourself for that. I stream every day but Tuesdays and Thursdays at twitch.tv slash Go ahead and stop by if you have any questions or leave a comment down below.